Hey LEGO fans and welcome to this latest installment of the LEGO Ideas review results. My name is Hassan from the LEGO Ideas team and joining me is Sam Johnson, design lead on Hi. LEGO Ideas. So, it is a great pleasure to be here once again for the important announcement and uh, well, the great thing is that we've got some really really awesome news and that news is... Today we will be announcing three new LEGO Ideas products. Yes, that's right. So stay tuned for more. Before we jump into that, I just want to mention one thing. As some of you might know if you've been tuning in, we were supposed to release the results for the Music to Our Ears contest as well. Unfortunately, our judges do need a little bit more time for that, and that means that we'll come out with a later video uh, going through that process as well. Mm -hmm. So for those of you tuning in who don't know so much about LEGO Ideas, let's just give you the one minute elevator speech. LEGO Ideas is a website where you as a LEGO fan can create your set and potentially see it come to life as an official LEGO set sold in stores around the world. But for that to happen, it has to go through a review process. And that's where Sam comes into the picture as someone who is part of that process. So Sam, can you maybe tell us a little bit about how that review process works? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. So what happens is, three times a year, we take all the projects that reach 10,000 votes and we scoop them out and put them in a bucket and we send that out to the different stakeholders around the company that each have their different perspective on, uh, you know, could we bring this to market and, and all kinds of different things. My personal perspective is design and we're looking at things like feasibility, like can it be built, and stability and the, the demand, you know, there's lots of things around uh, anniversaries and who knows uh, what might be happening around the world. Um, conflicts with internal development, so like uh, what we might already be doing uh, for the future. We don't want to clash with any of that, so that does help us make our decision. Uh, then we have licensing, uh, which uh, you know affects a lot of the different departments within LEGO. And then production capacity, like can we actually manufacture it? So there's a lot of different things that we're looking into and each department has their own kind of criteria that they bring to the table. So then all of that feedback is brought together to make kind of one huge document and uh, the decision is made from that. Great Sam, thanks for sharing that insight. So let's jump into the different submissions that were actually a part of this particular review. And I think Sam, you're going to be showing us uh, yeah. photos of all the submissions and walking us through each of them. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So in this particular review, we have 12 different projects, which are Queen, I Want to Break Free by Hans Sprichting. Seinfeld, 30th Anniversary by Brent Waller. The Legend of Bionicle by Sokoda. Ratatouille, Open the Doors by Brick Project. Lego Typewriter by Steve Guinness. The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild Stables by Han Was Yellow First. Clockwork Aquarium by MJ Smiley. Home Alone McAllister's House by Adwind. Toronto Rocket Subway Train by Lego Vader 217. Winter Chalet by SDR Net, The Huasca by Aldrin, and The Planet Express Delivery Ship by Nicola Stocci and Gabriella Zanotti. So that concludes the 12 submissions that were in the LEGO Ideas review. And uh, now I think it's time for the good news, which three of these submissions will actually be turned into an official LEGO set. So Sam, can you share what the first of the three new product ideas will be. Yes, I can. And the first of those products will be Lego Typewriter by Steve Guinness. Super awesome set. And uh, we've got some really great ideas on how we can execute the uh, mechanism inside and really bring it to life. It's something really awesome. That's awesome. Congrats, Steve. Congratulations. And Sam, what about the second of the third new product ideas? <laughs> so the second one will be Seinfeld 30th Anniversary by Brent Waller. And we're really excited to go ahead with this uh, project because it's 
really fun TV show, really iconic from the 90s and we really think that it can be really fun to play with and bring those characters to life. It's going to be super cool. So Sam, this is actually going to be the second time that Brent Waller has Indeed. become a LEGO Ideas fan designer. Yes. In fact, he became that for the first time with the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 quite a few years ago now. So yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, so it's going to be really exciting to work with him again and uh, yeah, hope you have another great experience. Yeah, congrats Brent. Congratulations Brent. And Sam, last but not least, can you share the last of the three product ideas that will be turned into official LEGO sets? Yes, and the last one will be a extremely Merry Christmas for Home Alone McAllister's house by Adwind. Can you just imagine having this on your mantelpiece at Christmas time? It's going to be so great being able to replicate all the really cool scenes where you're battling robbers that are coming through the house. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> All right, and so massive congrats to you, Edwin. We are really looking forward to make all three of these come to life in LEGO Ideas. So Sam, thanks for joining us today, and thanks to everybody online who has tuned in to check out this announcement. We uh, hope to be back in the future very soon uh, to discuss more of the results for the Music to Our Ears contest. In the meantime, stay creative, go on LEGO Ideas, vote, submit, and uh, have fun. Bye. Bye.